Ball pythons, also known as royal pythons, are found in Central and Western Africa. In captivity, they can be found in pet stores, at reptile expos, and through private breeders. Ball pythons make great pets for both the experienced and the beginner snake keeper. They are generally a bit shy, but also very curious creatures. They can be a bit nervous at first though, so you should avoid fast movements and excessive handling. It is best to choose a captive bred and born snake because they are usually feeding regularly by the time you get them and they are also usually parasite free. Enclosure A young snake can become stressed when in too large of an enclosure. Adults do not need a very large enclosure either. For their enclosure itself you can use a clear plastic storage container or a rack system of housing many snakes or like some people use an aquarium. For babies a 10 gallon tank is fine or or a 12 quart bin and adults a 30 or 40 gallon tank when you can use a 32 quart bin. It is best not to place your enclosure in a high traffic area. The most important thing about the enclosure is that it is escape proof and this is because snakes are escape artists. You need to have locking lids and doors. I suggest you keep it simple because the more you put in the enclosure the more you will have to clean regularly. You should completely disinfect the enclosure every 30 days and spot clean in between. If you place things in the enclosure for the snake to climb on, make sure it is secure and won't fall and injure your snake. It is important to have two hides, one on the cool end and one on the warm end. It is, it, this is so your snake will not have to choose between the security of the hide and its desired temperature. As a substrate, you can use lots of things, newspaper, paper towel, indoor outdoor carpet, or like me, you can use uh, uh, Eco Earth, that's work, that works good too. Aspen shavings, cypress mulch, those are all good. It's very important that you never use anything made of cedar or pine though because it is toxic to most snakes and can cause it to become ill. Lights. Ball pythons do not need bright lights. Also, too much light can cause them to stress. They are nocturnal, so they do need a day and night cycle. If you want to use a light for viewing them, you can use a red bulb without disturbing the day and night cycle. Always be sure that your snake cannot become in direct contact with the lights itself because it could cause them serious burns. Humidity. Humidity is important and helps your snake to shed its skin when it's growing. It's important to have a hydrometer inside your enclosure to actually accurately know the humidity levels. Humidity is supposed to be kept between 45, 50, and 60% at all times, no lower, except when your snake is going into shed. Then the humidity can be brought up to about 70, 75%. This can be done by simply misting the enclosure with a spray bottle a few times a day. Temperature. Your enclosure should have a cool end with temperatures at around an 80 degree mark, and it should also have a warm side to the, to the enclosure with a basking spot of about 90 degrees with an ambient temperature overall of about 85 degrees inside it. Temperature should never fall below 75. When it comes to temperature, you do not want to guess. You need to have two thermometers, one in the cool end and one in the warm end. Snakes also require a substrate heater for their, under their enclosure to provide a spot for them to warm their belly and this will help them to digest their food properly. Never use heat rocks with snakes because they can overheat and cause burns. Water. Always have clean and fresh drinking water in a large enough bowl that your snake can soak in in the enclosure. A large water dish can also help with shedding in two ways. It can create humidity inside the enclosure and the other way is for the snake to soak and which often softens the skin before shed. Ball pythons will sometimes soil in their water dish so you need to check the water daily. If water is soiled, disinfect the bowl immediately. Change the water every day and the bowl should be disinfected on a weekly basis. Food. In captivity, ball pythons can be given pre-killed or frozen thawed mice and rats to eat. If you plan on using live rodents, never leave your snake unattended because it could become injured or even the rat could kill your snake. The food items should be no larger than the thickest part of the snake's body, although they can swallow things that are up to a time and a half bigger than their largest part of their body. It's not okay to feed them that they're more than likely going to regurgitate it or cause, cause them problems. As babies, ball pythons should be fed every five to seven days and after a few years as sub-adult or adults, they can be fed every 10 to 14 days. 
You should not handle your snake for at least 24 hours after a feeding because it is uncomfortable and may cause the snake to regurgitate its meal. Another suggestion is that you feed in a separate feeding box, not the enclosure. I know there's a lot of, a lot of speculation on whether this makes a difference or not as to whether your snake will become cage aggressive or bite you because it thinks your food every time you open the lid, but there's been studies and nobody seems to be able to prove either one to be correct, feeding in the enclosure or outside of the enclosure, but just to be safe, it's best not to. This is so the snake associates feeding with the box, not its enclosure, basically. This is so when you put your hand into the enclosure to do whatever you need to do, your hand will be less likely mistaken for food and you will not get bit. Morphs. If you are interested in ball pythons, you are in luck. Originally there was only the normal or wild caught pattern and version gene of the snake, but now due to selective breeding and mutations in the wild, there are a wide variety of morphs available. When I say morphs, I mean colors, patterns, paint jobs. They all look different. There are, up, there are over 4,000 confirmed different morph mutations of the ball python. You can just throw out millions of combinations out there and there's so many yet to come, it's unbelievable. So if you're thinking about getting a, a designer snake and plan on breeding, morphs is where it's at. Size and lifespan. Ball pythons are egg layers and produce between 3 and 12 eggs each year. As hatchlings, they are usually about 10 inches long, while adults can reach between 3 and 5 foot. Females are larger than males in most common times. Ball pythons live to be an average of 15 to 20 years old, and if properly cared for, can live to be over 25 years old. So please keep that in mind when you're thinking about getting a ball python. They are a long-term commitment. Very lastly, closing. I'd just like to say, if you plan on getting a ball python, or any type of animal for that matter, you should research how to care for it before you get it. Like I said, ball pythons can live a long time, so they are a long-term commitment. So seriously think about that before getting one or any animal. I'm no expert. There are many ways to properly care for an animal, and I say research different methods and do what works best for you. Please, if I made any mistakes or incorrect statements, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if there's something important you would like to add, leave a comment below as well. Um, I guess that's about it. I'm Trevor Bayshaw. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Have a good one. Bye.